Hey everyone, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics, here at Shrimp Fever with Tommy Lamb. Hello. He uh, he's the owner uh, here at Shrimp Fever in um, just outside of Toronto, Canada. Uh, took a road trip up here to pick up some really nice shrimp. But um, in the meantime, I figured we'd get some information about Tommy, how he started, what what's his whole story. So started about 12 years ago. I first bought a cherry shrimp for about ten dollars, and yeah, that's how I got started. There was no one else except this one store who had cherries, and I, I probably spent two, three hundred bucks that week and killed them all. <laughs> oh wow, that's yeah. So back then there was no information about cherries. There's nothing you can find. Um, yeah, I killed them all due to lack of GH. So yeah. I found that out what six months after trying and trying and trying again, and so I finally got it right, and that was the first step into my shrimp hobby. That's fantastic. I kind of had the same experience. I worked at uh, PetSmart. It's a chain in the United States, and uh, they only have ghost shrimp. And you know, most ghost shrimp are only breeding in brackish water. So I'm I'm buying up the ghost shrimp. They're cheap, but I'm like, they're eggs. They're buried. They're ready to go. And that I'd even see babies floating around for a day or two, but then they'd never survive. Yes. And then I discovered, wait, there's these things called cherry shrimp. What are these? You know, because they couldn't have. I didn't. So I had to get them on Aquabid, and that's how I started. But that was maybe four years ago. Four years. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. So after cherries. I think I gave up for about six months because I couldn't, no, no information, I just kept killing them. There wasn't a point to me to keep spending money to keep killing them, right? And I didn't feel good doing that. So I think it, the second chance was when I went to Asia, Hong Kong, they were selling them by the bags. They were like, it was like 80 bucks for a bag, 100 crystals, black and white crystals. They were like the basic, basic of the bees. I actually smuggled them back. Actually, no, you should cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I brought them back in my suitcase and Believe it or not, against all standards of aquarium keeping, I started tank the first day and I threw them in right away. Surprisingly enough, the cherries, sorry, the crystal shrimp, the bee shrimp, they lasted over a month in, in 7.2 pH water with no GH, no minerals. No nothing. soil, none. Uh, I had some really old like Academa type soil that was already like two, three years old. I honestly did not know what I was doing. Right? <laughs> so uh, a month or two later, they all died again it on the tank and then what happened the third opportunity I started working for this aquarium shop my friend Frank stuff and he started bringing in the shrimp so we started getting together he started he's the one who actually taught me about water chemistry and that's actually the catalyst to help me succeed in shrimp keeping because shrimp keeping you know it's all about the GH the pH the TDS the KH and all that mineral type yeah right so once I learned that I finally got the grasp on it and then it went really well and now today I have 72 tanks full of shrimp. Yep, the shop is looking good. Hello. We have customers coming in, that's a good sign. So, but we have lots, lots of nice tanks going on. Um, that's how Tommy got his start.
Oh, you're gonna take off? All right, let me get you. See you later, buddy. You. Nice meeting you. Bye. Uh, everyone, Tommy Lamb. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you in Buffalo soon. All right, bye. bye. Yeah, we will.